crisis situation now for you guys? I mean, you're 0 2 for the first time, and you've been here. Yeah, it's no time to panic. Uh, we still got 10 games, and, you know, we got a, we're a young team, and um, I like what I saw at the end the resilience, and, you know, we could have folded and three touchdowns and just said, hey, let's just get beat. But came back and made it a game at the end. Had an opportunity to win the game after playing back. It's something that you really. It's the least ideal situation that we could possibly have drawn up to begin the season, but it's not impossible. Um, you know, to use kind of a silver lining look at it, if we execute the way we did in the final or in the fourth quarter of that game, we can beat anybody. And you know, Quentin Bungers is as good a receiver as there is in this conference. And Sam Richardson, when he's hitting and he's accurate, there's, he's as good a quarterback as there is in this conference. And that's one thing that you can kind of take a little bit of solace in going forward. Um, that. You know, we, we've got the guys to do it. We just need to go out and do it. And, you know, it sucks right now, and there's no kind of getting around that. But the there's a light going forward that you kind of have to follow and, and keep that highlighted on. Jacoys, what's the biggest key for this team heading into another bye week? Um, you know, just focus and keep the spirit high. I mean, uh, we're well, 0-2, obviously, like you said, it's the first time. Uh, we've been 0-2 since I've been here, the road's there. And, you know, just focusing and basically focusing on like, picking up the first victory. But from my observation, Sam was missing throws a little bit high. And I don't know if that was due to his ankle not getting a push or, or whatever it was. But in the second half, he started hitting. And that's the Sam that we know. And that's the Sam that we're all, you know, not surprised to see. The, the Sam in the – or the, the, the offensive play, whether it was Sam or the wide receivers or the offensive line, the offensive play in the first half is not what we're used to seeing. And in the second half, it's that execution that we're used to – we're used to seeing in practice and scrimmages and, and what should be in games. Some things that you guys have seen on defense that you still have to improve, or do you guys feel you got a little bit better after you won? I think we got a little bit better today. I feel like we tackle well for the most part, but we have to stop the run. Um, uh, we have to stop the run versus Oklahoma and Tulsa's going to run. So we got a lot of things to improve on. So, but stopping the run would be the most the biggest thing. How hard was it in the third quarter when they put together that really really long drive after you made it thirteen seven? It's just constantly wide. Um, it was tough. Uh, they kept running weak, and it was uh, they had some good plays. And he was gashing us a little bit, and um, I mean, eventually we we stopped, and then we shot ourselves in the foot and let one of the players go free on a um, thir uh, big third down, and you know, it ultimately hurt us. You know, one of the things we were saying uh, into the going into this game is if you let one loss spiral into two, spiral into three, it says something about your character. Um, but if you stop it at one loss, it's gonna it's gonna say a lot about your character too. Well, you know, inside that inside that is a little bit of a gray area where we are down by 20 points with five minutes to go in the game, and we said, you know what, we're not gonna we're not gonna accept this. We're not gonna accept anything, you know, just rolling over and dying. And and you know, you, you saw what happened when we did that, and we just you know ran short ran a little bit short on time, and uh, I think you know we did that to ourselves in running short on time.